right, guys, so it is Saturday night. Last week, we did not have a Saturday night snack and a movie. I completely lost track of time. These past two weeks have been so busy and crazy. It's just been difficult to keep my head on straight. Last week, we went over and babysat all day while my son, that other Nate guy, and his wife... Um, went out to the hospital and they had their second daughter and she pretty much immediately started having some complications They did send her home and then they took her right back in because she had like an infection in her eye um, That she was seeping she was having trouble breathing ended up going back in the hospital And she has been in the hospital ever since if you guys are a member of the Facebook group You may have seen where I posted a GoFundMe for them. Um, they've been in the hospital for I don't know four days now maybe five or something and they're just racking up the charges and we have like everybody under the sun praying for this little baby so hopefully she will end up coming home very shortly and will be healthy and everything that a little newborn baby needs to be if you guys have been watching you know that i also recently began uh these walking challenges right now i'm in the middle of the sleepy hollow challenge i had to take a few days off of that because i went into the dentist and i had a couple of third molars removed. This one was really small. This one apparently was bigger because it really hurts right now. I was down here the other night trying to watch a movie and for some reason the uh, DVD player went out, the Blu-ray player. So I had to get on and order a new one of those. I have that all hooked up now and ready to roll. I've already watched Critters, which I had to order another copy of right here. And I actually ordered like the four pack this is all four critters movies actually i think there's another one now because i have this one up here and i didn't know when i ordered this one but this is actually like the french version as you can see right there on the front but it does have a setting where you can watch it in english so i just kept it it stopped playing and would not start up again so that's why i ordered the other one i absolutely love critters i changed out a couple of the posters here i put up a dumbo poster over here I moved my Monsters, Inc. poster over there because I wanted it to still be up and I wanted to keep it right here by the Monsters, Inc. door. I also took down the Grumpy Old Men poster and I put up Honey, I Shrunk the Kids. I love that movie. And I ordered a whole bunch of industrial Velcro because all these little posters keep falling off the wall. So I need to put that on the back of those and get those put back up so they will stay this time. I brought Mr. M&M back out, which came from the family video. If you guys remember seeing him when you'd go to rent movies. And since I'm trying to lose some weight here, I took out all the candy and I replaced it with DVDs. So we got a whole bunch of DVDs in here. And then I did one other thing that I've been wanting to do for a while, and this is pretty cool. I made this little setup over here on top of the drink fridge. Whenever you go into video stores, or when you used to go into video stores, they always had a TV playing some kind of trailers and ads and things. So I've always wanted to have one of those. I found this at the Goodwill for like 20 bucks. It has a DVD player built into the top there. So I set that up on here. I thought it would look cool, have some candy by it, my video store candle. And I have Edward Scissorhands in there right now, just with the menu playing. And it just sits down here playing over and over and over. So anytime I come down here, I get to walk right into the experience of the video store. And I'll tell you what, guys. When I first came down here, I had no idea what movie we were going to watch tonight. But now, I'm kind of leaning towards Edward Scissorhands. This is the DVD so it wouldn't look right on this TV since this is a 4K TV. It looks kind of grainy if you play a DVD on there. But I know that I have this movie on Blu-ray, or maybe even 4K, somewhere in this room. <laughs> I honestly am not sure. I have like a whole lot of 80s movies over here. Um, I just replaced all this stuff here. We got Shazam, the second Shazam movie, The Lost City, The Matrix, Beetlejuice, Hook... Um, it could be back in here. I'm going to have to move Mr. Peanut to see if I can find him. But we still have like our scary movies up here that I put up around Halloween time. Haven't been able to get myself to put those away yet. And in fact, I just watched Tucker and Dale vs. Evil again the other night. That's one of my favorites ever. Absolutely hilarious. I moved all the Christmas movies down here. I've got about 150 Blu-rays up here to look through. A little stack over here and yet another bunch over here to look through but i know that i have it somewhere oh look at this here's one called they call me bruce 
I haven't seen this movie since the 80s, man. I actually found this on Blu-ray on Amazon. It's still brand new. You can see I haven't taken the, uh, the packaging off of that yet. But I want to watch that one very soon here. Maybe I'll make tonight a double feature with Bruce. Oh, look here. That car that just pulled in the driveway is actually my order from Walmart so we can make our snack tonight. And there we go. That was pretty quick. I just ordered that about an hour ago. Okay, they got everything right. And what we are going to make tonight, because I have to have something soft to eat that I don't really have to chew all that much. But it also has to be delicious. So we are going to make taco mac and cheese now we don't need two boxes of shells i just ordered two just because i'm a nerd but here's everything that we need to pull this off we need ground hamburger taco seasoning we need some mexican shredded cheese i am using these large shells they're not the biggest ones you can get but i like these if you cook them long enough they kind of collapse on themselves plus they absorb the flavor very well and i'm also going to put some cream cheese in there that i think will help it to be much more creamier than if we just tried to melt just the mexican cheese alone all right so we're going to get our water boiling here let that get hot. We got our shells open and ready to go in. Get our skillet here. I'm gonna use about half of this ground beef here. I've got two and a quarter pounds. And I think I'll use about half, maybe a little bit more. So we got about a medium heat going here. We're just gonna crumble this hamburger and get that browned up good. Now I will say this, we're gonna use the cream cheese. So you gotta take this out and kinda let it warm up to room temperature before you use it, cause we want it to melt in there. But that's not gonna go in until the hamburger is done. Okay, that's just about ready to be drained. Our water's boiling here. Let's go ahead and add the shells. I mixed up about a half a cup of water with one of the packages of taco seasoning. Drained the hamburger, and we're gonna go ahead and just pour this in. Get that mixed up good. While the shells are cooking, we put a little hole in the middle here for our cream cheese. Just like that, then we'll smash that in, mix it with the hamburger. Okay, cream cheese is mixed in with that really good. We got these still boiling over here. They're just about ready to be drained. Okay, shells are on low and drained. I did put a little bit of butter in there just to make sure that this turns out creamy. I got the hamburger mixture poured in on top of the shells. Mix that in good. Now we're gonna add the cheese. And I honestly don't know how much I added. I just threw a couple gobs in there, like a couple handfuls. <laughs> we didn't use the whole bag though. And we got all that cheese mixed in. It is pretty stringy, but it smells good. And now we poured it all from there, right? in here. Now this is where I stop. I think that is good enough. That smells delicious. I know it's going to taste delicious. Some people might want to put it in the oven and bake it for a little bit with some more cheese on top. I don't really care to do that. That right there looks perfectly delicious to me. Oh yeah, that looks so good. Let's get a close-up. Look at how delicious and cheesy and taco-y that looks. While that cools down, I'm gonna get my dishes done here and I'm gonna go downstairs and find my movie on Blu-ray, but not before we take a taste test. Oh my gosh, this is gonna be so good. There's a couple of shells right there. I hope this isn't just scalding hot. Mmm, mm-hmm. Oh my gosh, that is so delicious right now. Honestly, I don't think there's anything else that it needs. Maybe you could put a little bit of milk in there, but other than that, it is absolutely delicious. Taco mac and cheese for the win.